Coming up on Around Kern County, Public Health is working to help residents affected by the Burrell Fire. We're sharing their information and resources on how to safely begin cleanup. And Back to School is officially in full swing. We're giving you a look at how child support services prepared students to head back into the classroom when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Triolo. This week, Kern County Supervisors approved the fiscal year 2024-2025 recommended budget. This $4.4 billion investment supports our community's future from strategic investments in public safety to park improvements to education through libraries, as well as economic development. This year's budget also continues to enhance services for residents of unincorporated communities with Measure K funds, making significant investments in public safety and infrastructure. It also uses state and federal funds to improve roads, enhance behavioral health and substance use services, and provide increased social services and support to our most vulnerable residents. This year's budget includes the investment funded by Measure K to meet the priorities identified by the community. Similar to cities like McFarland, Bridgecrest, and Tehachapi that also approved an additional 1% sales tax, the voters approved the collection of 1% sales tax in unincorporated areas of the county. Our goal is to invest primarily on unincorporated communities that are contributing to the increased sales tax. You can learn more about the fiscal year 2024-2025 budget by visiting our website, kerncounty.com. Kern County is continuing to recover from the Burrell Fire, the largest in our community's history. With the flames now contained and affected residents returning home, Kern County Public Health is leading the charge as cleanup efforts get underway. Right now, phase one is taking place, which consists of the California Department of Toxic Substances Control disposing of hazardous waste left behind on residential properties. Our county is also in the process of applying for phase two support, which includes debris, ash, and hazard removal from private and public properties. As this recovery process unfolds, Public Health has a host of resources to ensure residents feel supported and encouraged as they return to their new normal. So right now we have um, a couple of state agencies that are actually on scene at the Burrell Fire in addition to their contracted cleanup company, Park Environmental, and they are starting cleanup efforts under phase one debris removal. And what phase one looks like is Park Environmental and DTSC are going from parcel to parcel and they're looking for household hazardous waste and they're removing them from these parcels. That will eliminate the imminent health hazard that exists from the Burrell Fire. View more information about Burrell Fire recovery at kernpublichealth.com or our website, kerncounty.com. We're sharing some good news happening in downtown Bakersfield. This week, our county partnered with BNSF Railway to clean up the railroad tracks in surrounding areas between Q and F streets. This comes after residents asked our Board of Supervisors for support in freshening up this corridor. We are so grateful for BNSF's outstanding partnership as our board continues its commitment of enhancing the quality of life for all Kern County residents. And we're ending today by celebrating a department that's helped send local students back to school in style. Anna Marie Odo has more. Kern County Child Support Services is making sure local students have what they need for a successful school year. With August being Child Support Awareness Month, the department helps students feel prepared to head back into the classroom. By hosting their 15th annual Ready, Set, Back to School Free Health and Wellness Fair at the Kern County Museum. Dozens of community partners join child support to pass out free backpacks, shoes, and school supplies to students in kindergarten through 12th grade. 
Thousands of people attended this event and hundreds of backpacks and pairs of new shoes were handed out to local kids. Each community partner also gave out free services, ranging from dental checkups to food boxes. Child support also made sure these resources were available to communities across Kern County and provided them to children in Delano, Ridgecrest, Taft, and Rosamond. We'd like to congratulate their amazing department for this incredible impact and passion for helping Kern County families. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. And don't forget to follow us on social media or download the MyKern app in the App Store or Google Play. We'll see you next time.